This presentation will cover the retrieval of data using Oxygen Forensic Suite software retrieving data from a mobile device. A background on the case file being presented. Our client, Mrs. Nancy Jones, has brought in a cell phone to retrieve data from. The investigative office consists of two investigators, Catherine Mullen and Rashida Shinaba. Mrs. Mrs. Jones has a reason to believe that her husband, Mr. Jones, is having an affair and has asked for us to retrieve any data that would help her gather information for a divorce proceeding. We open up our software and here we are. We want to begin our new case by installing our mobile device, meaning plugging it into our PC. We have our iPhone 5C and we have our USB cord to plug it into our PC. Now we're going to select connect device. We're going to use auto detection for this one. If we had an older model phone, we might have to go in and manually select. But since this is a newer device, it should be able to find it. And there we have it. It found our iPhone 5 software version. So we hit next. We're going to close out of iTunes. Okay, we're going to name this case number one. This is our very first case for this office. We're going to give it evidence number one. Inspectors are Katie and Rashida. Leave the default algorithm. Device owner, Nancy Jones. Owner email. Okay, and if we want to add a phone number here, we could, and we're just going to hit next. We could put additional notes if we needed to. But you want to leave all the default settings selected to be able to retrieve any necessary data. And we're going to extract. As stated below, you don't want to disconnect the device while the data is being extracted. This could take anywhere from a few seconds to a few minutes, depending on how much data is on a device. And our data is just about complete, finishing up the extraction process. Okay, the process is complete. It did take almost five minutes, so I paused the video. So it was a success. We're going to hit finish. Okay, so here we have our new case file one and our new device. So we wanted to, we can add a photo of the device and I put one here in case we ever have to go back and rest, reference you know, we're, what we're dealing with. We can add a photo of Mrs. Jones, once we begin to build more case files to make it easy to identify customers. So as you can see, some of these items are showing up as unregistered because we do not have the full version. If we were to purchase the software, we'll be able to get more data. So we're going to start with going through the file browser to see what's available here. Okay, we could hit Images, audio, video, documents. So, Mrs. Jones has asked us to look for photos. A lot of photos are located here in this folder. So, as we can see, there are some images available. So, this is 
this is a normal photo of Mrs. Jones, so that's okay. What we're looking for is anything there that shouldn't be. For example, this is good evidence for Mrs. Jones, our client, because obviously this must be her husband's mistress. So what we would continue to do is browse through the rest of the photos to get any more information for the client. I'm going to go back to our main screen and check our other options. The main things we're looking for are messages, call logs, and photos. So here we are, messages, and we can see some recent messages sent. Let's see here. Here's one. What are you doing? Hi. Hey, sweetie. Is the missus in town? Oh, this looks questionable here. She is gone until Saturday. I'm all yours. Perfect. See you tomorrow night. Okay, those are pretty incriminating text messages that we're going to give to our client to help build her case. And as stated before, we will just continue to go through all the messages, seeing anything, and pulling any data we need to retrieve. You can go to the event log, and you can see recent calls, who Mr. Jones has been speaking to, how often they call them, the call duration. Another feature that we can use if we want to narrow things down is do a search. For example, I started a search for Mrs. because we already saw a previous text message from the mistress asking. So I search MRS and I search and I pulled up the message saying, is the Mrs. in town today? So if Mrs. Jones had given us a particular word to look for or a name to look for, we can do a search and narrow it down. Back to our main menu, I'll go over some of the applications that we do not have available. Here we have applications. We can see every, if we had paid for the software, we would be able to see any application that he would have downloaded, social graph, any social sites that he would have connected to, such as Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Web connections would be a very important tool to use. For example, any sites he may have logged into, dating sites that we can track his, act, his activities. Dictionaries allows us to identify, again, keywords that the owner of the phone may have used. For example, if he was searching for a particular name, if she knew a person that he knew, or he may have put that person's name in, we could pull up all of those searches. A very important tool that would have been beneficial to this office is the key evidence tool. As I said, this section displays data marked by the investigators or inspectors as important. It would create a report, for example, any phone logs or messages that we felt would help our case. So after we went through all the available features, what we want to do for our client is create a report to give to them. You go to print, you can preview and select the data that you want to print out. And since we know we got information to give to Mrs. Jones from messages, we're going to print that out for now. Any photos we'll have to do separately as they're not listed here. So we'll go next and it will prepare a report for us. And as you can see, it's a very detailed report to give to our client and to keep for our office records. Device model, serial number, the inspector working the cases, case number, evidence number, and a photo of the device. One thing I will say is that for some reason, it starts with the most current message that we're looking for here on the very last page. 
and as you can see, page number 424 here, which means there are a lot of messages here. So that is why I did the print preview, because here I don't want to select which pages that I would want to give to our client, because we don't want to give them 424 pages of information if it's not necessary. And that pretty much sums up Oxygen Forensic Suite 2014 standard and our case number one for Mrs. Nancy Jones. Thank you for watching.